Well, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you guys are watching this, I hope you are ready to clean. I have so much motivation to share with you today, upstairs, downstairs, main floor, three different stories. We are doing bedrooms, bathrooms, living room, playroom, so much stuff today, you guys. We will do floors. We're going to start by throwing in the bedding, sorting the laundry, and then I'm going to start working on my bathroom. So I'm going to keep you company while you tackle your own home. As always, I have a lot of playlists in the description box, my clean with me playlist, my do it all playlist, my mom vlogs, and so much more. So if you have a long, long list, even longer than this long, video i would love to keep you company throughout all of it i love to start all day cleaning days with laundry because i just keep flipping it throughout the day and by the end of the day all of it is clean it's certainly not folded but all of it is clean so if you have a lot of laundry to do today start that right now and then get to your cleaning with me i'm just going to continue sorting all of this laundry right here throwing in the bedding so that it's done by the end of the day and then i will start the washing machine and head into the bathroom so let's do this together let's tackle our list let's get our homes in order feels so good once all of this is done The first product I'm using is by Method. This is their foaming tub and tile cleaner. I've used this for years. I really like it. I like that it works well without being like super fumey. It doesn't have a strong scent to it. And I'm almost out of it. As you can see, I'm going to finish up the bottle in this shower so i have a lot of cleaning products as many of you know i love trying new products and buying new products all the time to share with you but i am running out of room that's why i'm trying to use up everything i have especially if there's a little bit left any inches i can gain in my cabinets is well worth it while that sits on the shower i'm going to deal with this vanity and whenever i'm cleaning showers or tubs as many of you know i like to spray and then let the product sit let it do a lot of the work for me there's Chad, he's gonna come grab something in the bathroom because he realized I was filming, so he wanted out of there. I'm getting everything off the counter, then we will wipe it down, and I'm also going to wipe down those shelves with all of my skincare on them too. Whenever I'm cleaning shelves with products on them, like the skincare, or if I'm cleaning the shower with the shampoo and conditioner products in it, I like to wipe down the actual products. They get dusty, they get grimy, they get gross, especially skincare. Sometimes there's one product on your hands while opening another bottle, it gets that product on it. Over time, it kind of adds up. So wipe down your products. If you're gonna be doing the other work anyways, you might as well make sure it's all perfect and good to go. I also have a lot of products out as you can see so i'm going to minimize that and make sure these shelves are not so cluttered or nearly as cluttered as they were just a couple seconds ago
When the hair goes up, you know things are getting serious and I am just ready to roll. So those shelves are looking much better. I just have a few more things to finish up on the vanity before we can head back to the shower and scrub it a little bit more. I just want to wipe down everything on that tray, the vanity countertop, sinks I always like to do last, and then once a sink is wiped with a towel, it's time for a new one. So let's finish up right here, swing around to the other side, and keep it moving. I'm going to scrub in that first product, the Method Tub and Tile Cleaner, around this whole shower, and then there's one more product I wanted to try, and it's from Bona. I believe it says it's for floors. I show the bottle in just a second, but it also says it's for tile, and there was just a little bit left in this bottle too, so figured why not just try it in here and see how it does, and we already got rid of two products in the first few minutes of the video, which means I have a little bit more room for some new spring products I just I get very excited about like the new spring scents I feel like it's the most popular season for new cleaning products so cannot wait to get something else to try in my next cleaning video scrubbing all of this in and then I will start rinsing and scrubbing it and anything that is really difficult for you to clean like shubs or shut what is a shub <laughs> like tubs and showers just clean them a little more often and it saves you time and it's so much easier I always try and do that as many of you know I always try and mention that because if you let it go too long it is extremely tedious but if you do it regularly, it's only going to take you a couple minutes. I'm almost done with the shower and that is a black loofah. It looks like a black hairball, so I just wanted to say that I'm actually going to get rid of it today. That's Chad's. I feel like he's had it for a long time and needs a new one. So now I'm going to use Rain-X on these doors. Anyone that has a glass shower door, you need to try Rain-X. I will link it below. I'll link a lot of the products that I use in my outfit in the description box. Trying to make sure I do that in every video for you now. And it basically helps for the water to just run off your shower door so it will not get water spots nearly as quickly as if you didn't use this. I'm spraying twice on the inside of the door since of course that is way dirtier than the outside. Just one quick spray on the outside putting all the products back and we can move on from here. This is just the beginning. I have so much more motivation for you. If you guys are watching to relax, I hope you're enjoying it. If you're watching for motivation, Girl, get up, get going, let's do this together. And just look at that door, it's crystal clear.
All right, so the very last thing I need to do before vacuuming in here and then officially being done with my bathroom is the toilet. And I only have one of the brush heads. I forgot I need to buy more of those, so I need to get on that today and make sure before the week starts I have all of them cleaned. So I've just put on my rubber gloves. I'm using a Clorox Sentiva on the outside to clean all of that. I will scrub the inside and then this bathroom will be finished and I use these brush heads from scrubbing bubbles they are flushable they work really well they don't break down until you're done using them I've raved about those for Ever. If you need a new toilet bowl cleaning product or products, I love a lot of them from Scrubbing Bubbles. And before I use the vacuum, I just need to empty it real quick. It was completely full. Does anyone remember or have any of you guys, are you old enough like me to have used vacuums with the bags on them? Those were always so messy. I mean, this is messy, but this is like nowhere near as messy as when vacuums had bags on them and i did share recently i felt very extra saying this but i have two vacuums one upstairs and one downstairs and it honestly makes my life so much easier and a lot of you tell me that you do the same thing so i feel a lot less guilty about that i thought that was going to be like just so over the top and the fact that many of you have the same system and it works for you made me feel a lot better so anyways i'm vacuuming the bathroom picking up all of my hair honestly guys my hair is here there and everywhere after i wash it and blow dry it so had to take care of that then we will work our way into my bedroom and wipe down some things in there on the nightstands vacuum in there and then keep on keeping on And both of the nightstands in my bedroom are now wiped down and dust free. I'm wiping down everything on this fireplace and the fireplace itself. I'm going to actually, I already wiped down the mirror, got all of the fingerprints off of it and dust. I just like to work top to bottom as much as possible. And doesn't this vacuum look so cute? I cannot get over like how attractive vacuums are these days, all the fun colors. I absolutely love the pink. So anyways, just finishing up vacuuming in my bedroom and then I'm going to spray the bed with a Febreze product.
So this is the Febreze Antimicrobial and this is basically a spray for things that are either hard to wash or things you cannot wash. So I use this on my rugs. I'm going to spray it on all of these pillows now that the covers are in the washing machine, on the rug that my bed is under, on the chairs on the other side of the room. And now I'm on to forest room. So it's a little bit dark in here. It was right before nap time and I didn't want to mess with his blackout shade. So this is just going to be a couple seconds, a little bit darker. I just wanted to wipe down his dresser, the top, the sides. I wanted to wipe down his shelves really quickly and dust them. I don't really decorate these too perfectly because he likes to move things around. And then once this is done, I'm just going to grab all the extra hangers in his closet, wipe down the crib, vacuum, and this will be finished. So several different things I'm going to do really, really fast in the next couple seconds. Am I afraid to you? We almost touch. The front of the crib is all wiped down. I'm doing the sides and the back, and that will be done. Vacuuming, like I mentioned, and then we're gonna move on to the workout room. So really quick and painless in here. My goal for, I was gonna say today, but for this video, it took me three days to film this video, was just to get the house really clean so that I could focus on more spring cleaning. The last cleaning video I posted was my part one of my spring clean with me. So part two is going to come very soon. Definitely keep an eye out for it and subscribe if you're new here. I should have said this in the beginning, but if you guys are enjoying this video, please like it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you here. So workout room, here we go. Let's vacuum everything. And then I'm going to wipe down a couple surfaces in here. And this one's going to be really quick too. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the basement. I went right on past the main floor because that one takes me a long time and this one does not. It's pretty quick and painless. We really just come down here to play, so I need to fluff some pillows, fold some blankets, pick up the toys, and get the floor cleared off so that I can vacuum it. You rattled my cage without warning. Kept it up right till the morning. A new kind of ecstasy. Different side of me, yeah. You'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me, yeah. Down till we take flight It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A 
I don't love that it's not cute and decorated down here, but I do love how quick and easy it is to clean this space. So almost done with the vacuuming. Those couch cushions are there because Forrest loves to run on them. He's been into that for months. And then he dunks his basketball, such a boy. I'm going to vacuum around the side here. Then I will do that bedroom and bathroom. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in this area. We have a light bulb out and it is like a zillion feet up in the air to change it. So have not gotten around to that welcome to the throw pillow room i don't know why you guys there are so many pillows in here but our guest room right now is a little bit of a storage room so excuse that not very cute i'm going to vacuum the floor in here and the rug the guest bath is also good to go i cleaned this not too long ago in a video and it hasn't been used since then so i'm gonna lay down this mat and now we are upstairs in the kitchen so Get ready for some serious work on this floor. Yeah, you'll find a different side of me, like someone pretty need a different side of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dishwasher is started, the counters are cleared off, and now I'm using the Daisy multi-surface scent from Mrs. Meyer. So this is a spring scent. I mentioned before, I just love spring cleaning products so, so much. If you have not picked up any spring scents, definitely try this Daisy one. I really like it. I'm wiping down the island now, and then I will follow up with all the other counters in here and everything on the counters. And the kitchen is good to go. The dining room is wiped down and good to go. All those papers were put away. Let's open up shop in the living room, pull all of the shades up, and then pick up everything in here. And everything that you guys saw from the kitchen on and now from here until the end of the video was day three of filming. I started filming at 8.45 in the morning and Chad took Forrest to the trampoline park. A lot of comments are always like, how do you get this done? Like, what's the situation? Where's Forrest? Where's Chad? So that is how I get filming done. Forrest is either napping or he's with his dad, either upstairs, downstairs, somewhere I'm not, or they are out having some fun. So that's what they are doing today while I am tackling the rest of the house. I am picking up and putting together all of these puzzles that Forrest left for me here, there, and everywhere. His snacks he hid under the couch. I'm going to put away some of these toys that are left out, pick up everything else in the living room, spray it down, and then we will go from there.
So now we're on to vacuuming. I'm going to start at the front door and work my way back around to where we came from. And for all of you guys working with me, comment down below what you've been able to get done since you first started the video and what you're going to finish before you're done cleaning for the day. That's going to help you to hold yourself accountable. You're going to feel like whatever you write down there, you've got to get done. So don't shy away make sure to do that vacuuming the bathroom in here i'm going to finish up the living room the dining room i will do the kitchen the pantry and the back door area that gets a lot of dirt and just well i guess just dirt from our shoes so i'm going to make sure to take care of that too i'm going to move the rug when i vacuum over there and make sure it's as perfect as it can be All right, so I am about finished with the vacuuming. Now I'm going to steam mop and I'm going to use some essential oil on the mop head. I haven't done this in a long time and I really, really love it because it just makes everything smell so, so good. So I fill the mop as normal. I just add the water in the reservoir. Very fancy word for a mop, but that's what they call those little water areas that you fill up. I put the washable head on the bottom and then I put several drops of a lavender essential oil on the mop head people ask me all the time if i ever put the oil inside of the mop they always say not to do that some of them even like right on there not to do that especially with humidifiers so i don't i don't want to break it i just put it on the mop head itself and it always works great sometimes I add a few more drops here or there but i added a lot on this mop head the first time i put them on like seven or so and it was very strong and lasted throughout the entire floor
I cannot get over how much cleaner your home feels once your floors are mopped. It's like a whole nother level. I am adding a little bit more water in the mop so I can finish up the living room, the hallway, and the bathroom, and then I will be finished on this floor and we're gonna head back upstairs for a few more things. And here's today's pile on the stairs of things that need to go up. I need to go grab that stair basket that I normally have right here so it doesn't look like it just did a couple seconds ago. And while we go upstairs, I'm going to work my way up there with the vacuum. Okay, one more thing on the main floor I forgot about. I wanted to stock this bathroom with some toilet paper, wipe down the mirror, wipe down the sink, that is all. And then we are actually heading upstairs. And the first thing we're gonna do once we get up there is straighten up Chad's office a little bit. I just wanted to do a couple things, nothing major, so we're just a few seconds away from that. We have a day bed in here and I just wanted to tuck in the covers and make sure it looks nice. And then I wanted to do a little patrolling for dirty dishes. Sometimes I come in here and it smells like coffee because there's like three dirty coffee cups. So today there is only a plate on his desk as you can see in an empty sparkling water can. Going to grab those to take downstairs and now I'm on to Fory Boy's bathroom. So I'm gonna start by spraying the tub in here and all of the toys in it. I do this all the time in my cleaning videos. I Try and do this at least once a week because like the shower, the more you do it, the easier it is and the less time it takes. So while all of that stuff is soaking, I'm going to work on the vanity. And for this next shot of scrubbing the tub, I literally put the tripod in the water so you guys could see a cool shot. Anything to make the videos interesting and fun to watch, I will do. I have gotten through a ton of cleaning with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope I motivated you to tackle everything on your list. I post a lot of my cleaning videos on Sunday, so I know a lot of you guys are watching this on a Sunday. And I encourage you to get your work done so you can start the week off on the right foot, wake up on Monday morning, get ready for work, and know that everything is finished. The laundry's done, the dishwasher is taken care of, all the things. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for spending the time with me. Please like the video if you haven't had a chance to yet. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share my videos, it helps me so much. I appreciate it a ton. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here, and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video.